Guess who's back? Back again. Louise is back. Tell a friend to subscribe, to subscribe. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, come one, come all. Um, if you are new, this is not the video for you to start on. Let's just sort the tripod out there. Do I look a bit more equal now? Probably not. Um, if you are new, this is definitely not the right video to watch. Um, but if you are, my name is Elise Pentland. I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. Um, and if you are an oldie but goldie, come on in. The water's fine. You might be wondering where I am. It's very echoey, so I'm very sorry about that. I'm in my rental house because I just filmed a tour of that, which will be going up next week. Um, have I done a good job? Of the house, yes. Um, do I feel like I've got a good that I've filmed a good job of the tour? Definitely not. No, I was all over the shop. Um, I feel really, really rusty with videos because um, you may or may not have noticed I took some time off. I've taken a couple of months off of YouTube, which is the longest that I've ever taken away from this space. I have been on Instagram every day um, and Twitter. I don't really more of an Instagram kind of gal and Facebook um, but I haven't been making my usual weekly videos and I thought um, now would be the time to maybe ease back into that um, and talk to you. I've got a long list of things to talk to you about actually um, so I'm gonna, I've divided it into four topics, you know me, I love a list, so I've divided it into four topics and at the very end there is something really special that I want to share with you so keep watching please don't leave me validate my existence uh number one the world um so as you will all know we are currently in a global pandemic at the time of filming this um we are allowed to go to shops now um they've opened all non-essential shops in the uk um and the essential shops have been open the whole time Lots of people are still working from home, lots of people are still furloughed, schools are not open. Some years are going back at the moment. Um, so it is a really strange time. And of course, the main thing is that it's an illness and you know we've had some absolutely huge losses from that. Um, our really dear family friend, Melissa, passed away um, at the beginning of April. And sadly, um, she leaves behind a really big family of five beautiful, uh, four daughters and a son all grown up and some of them have got children and so she's left her grandchildren and I'm not really getting my words out properly because it's just like she was 60 she was far too young to go and this awful awful virus took her um but then we've also been really fortunate my granddad who's 97 he was he was tested positive in hospital and he recovered and survived and he came back to grandma who we also are like 99.9% .9 sure that she had it as well but she wasn't tested because she wasn't admitted to hospital but she had all the symptoms um so they are well and they've recovered which is amazing news and i think yesterday on the news they said that they had found they have identified a drug which reduces death <laughs> which is fantastic um so covid um just personally, and I don't want to talk about like my feelings on it too much because I fully appreciate that so many people have had it so much worse. Um, the first couple of weeks, I was a bit like, no, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay, we're gonna power through, we're gonna power through. And then as time went on, I realized just like that powering through, I could not ignore, like I was having heart racing nights. I put it on Instagram a few times, like I couldn't slow my heart down, I was thinking the worst, and I just felt hugely overwhelmed by it, as I think so many of us have. And when I feel overwhelmed, I just want to like get my chicks in the nest and just cocoon there and hide away. Um, which is part of the reason why I stopped making videos because I didn't want to turn the camera in on us. I didn't feel like we had anything like particularly great to film because obviously we've been at home the whole time. And I didn't want to rely on my children to make content for me. I didn't want to like, come on, do something fun or exciting that I can film. Um, if I can't carry a vlog and I can't like be upbeat and present it, then I just, it's, I don't think it's I just don't want to make it so um thanks so much for being so patient on that um the other huge thing that's happening in the world at the moment is the black lives matter movement um I I feel almost scared to talk about it which is like my default setting with topics um about racism because I always feel 
quite frightened that I'm going to say the wrong thing but I have to say that I have learned so much this last few weeks I've really really made an effort to read more watch more learn more I've been sharing all of that over on my Instagram so if you want to go over there there's a highlights bubble if you want to look into any of those resources or posts or videos um, and I think what I've learned from this is a how uneducated I've been and how I feel like my eyes have been opened to this now and and that's I feel bad saying that because it shouldn't have I shouldn't have got to this age to have my eyes open if someone had said to me Louise are you racist I would have said no of course not but I, I've learned now about anti-racism how I've really got to stand up for things and um I've been having so many good conversations with people I've got a school mummies whatsapp group and I posted something in there and I was like hi everybody I uh, just wanted to show you this video and it was about you know raising your children to be anti-racist um, and I've been talking to lots of people about it so I will leave um, a link to that bubble if I can leave a link to the the actual bubble or just my Instagram um, if you want to go and have a look at those resources but there are so many there's better resources out there than I've shared I'm sure but I have shared I'm sure um, but it's something that I should continue to educate myself on and I'll continue to share um, and I'm sad that it's happening because it's come from you know bad things happening but I'm glad that people are taking the time to, to learn more and know more and make a really positive change for the world. So those I think are the two main things that have been going on in the world and um, which really put all of my like Louise things that just pale into insignificance like the house or the book or anything like that but I just really wanted to make those point one of this like life update and catch up video. So point two is our little fam. Um, Liam has still been going to work. He's a key worker. Darcy has obviously not been at school, but she is okay with that. She's not, Darcy is not a naturally motivated academic. So it has been challenging <laughs> to do the homeschooling, but we've been getting on with it. Pearly, for the most part, has been absolutely fine. Um, I don't think she really noticed, but it's only been in the last couple of weeks I've really noticed that she's starting to get quite bored um, and I think she's just really missing things she says things like we'll go swimming when the yucky germs is gone I'm like yes we will we will do all those things when the yucky germs are gone I'm sorry we're not doing them now um, we're so excited to get back to normal life and for the hub to be open which is our favorite soft play center it's all that they've bought an antibacterial fogging machine and they're gonna fog the whole soft play center every night with this antibacterial mist um, like the stuff they have these days. Um, it has been a little bit tense at home. I have to say, if Liam's watching this, he will laugh. I've been a bit stressy. Um, I think having routine taken away from you and having, you know, Darcy not at school and her not able to do all the things she likes to do, um, I think I've been a bit more like <laughs> the normal. And honestly, the other day he was cutting cheese and I was like, hey, hey. or sometimes he'll like breathe too heavily or he'll be in my way when I want to get, like why, why are they always standing at the exact place you want to be in the kitchen? Um, and normally those things wouldn't bother me as much as they have bothered me. Um, but now things have eased up a bit and I'm able to do like a little bit more work stuff. I do feel a bit better and I think maybe, Maybe he's not as awful as I was making out in my mind and maybe, you know, his breathing isn't that annoying. <laughs> maybe I was just being a little bit, uh, a little bit stressy. So that's our fam alarm. Um, point three feels really uh, self-indulgent, but it's me. <laughs> point three, it's me. So um, I have actually been feeling pretty lacking in confidence lately which just really isn't me and I've been feeling I don't think low is the right word I think it's just there's so it feels like there's so much going on that I, I can't settle my brain on anything and I don't feel I'm struggling to find like the normal rhythm of things I'm getting there now um I think everyone found their new normal really quickly and there was me doing my lives like we'll just find our new normal and giving out all this advice I was okay for those first couple of weeks and then I just feel like it all just got too much. I was just like, <laughs> I don't know where my new normal is. Um, I feel really vain, 
because so I had a tooth removed at the begin the day before lockdown. I had an emergency dental procedure and they removed a tooth here. Um, and they have not been able to replace it yet because dentists have been shut. They only just opened up about a week ago and this isn't a priority because it's uh, because I'm not in pain. So all those patients have been desperate to go, obviously they're gonna go first. Um, so having a tooth missing has really made me feel really self-conscious and I've not been smiling as much or like laughing heartily, um, unless obviously I'm just like at home with my fam. Um, but for like pictures and online stuff. Also, I just, I don't know, I feel like I feel like such a dick for saying this basically when bloody hell like people are losing family members and I'm sat here being like I've lost a tooth and I've got really big roots and I feel really bleh um but the truth is that is how I feel and it's kind of knocked my confidence a bit and made me feel pretty crummy um and I guess that just makes me a pretty shallow person because you shouldn't you shouldn't be validating yourself on whether you've got like a tooth missing or roots or all those sorts of things it doesn't matter because it's what's on the inside that's what i tell my children <laughs> um but right now on the inside i feel a bit meh um so i have been combating that and i've written a little list of things i've been doing um so i have gone through my wardrobe and taken out all the things that i don't wear um and sorted those into piles for charity I also did a bit of volunteering for um, our local town charity, which was lovely. It sorted out things for their um, eBay channel site. What do you call it, eBay? Shop. Um, and also their actual charity shop. So I've got a big pile of stuff going to charity. And I've also treated myself to a few bits online. And I thought maybe I could do a plus size try on because I've been watching a lot of plus size try on videos. And it's been giving me a bit of confidence because I've been thinking, look at those lovely, beautiful women who are all different shapes and sizes, some bigger than me, some smaller, some taller, some shorter. And they are just, I think when you see another woman being confident in her skin, it makes you think, oh, I can be, I can be confident in my skin. So I've been watching those, but I tell you what, <laughs> uh, social influence works because I haven't influenced to buy some clothes online. So I'm like, she looks sensational. I'm gonna buy that too. So this is a new dress as well. Um, so I thought I would do a plus size clothing try on for you um, as well. Um, I have been doing some crafty bits, which I love. You know, I like to make little things. Um, and I've done some little renovations to our house at home. We've had the kitchen painted um, and we're gonna potentially have some new flooring in there. I did want to do the whole kitchen. Um, I keep saying this every year, I want to whip that kitchen out and put a new one in, but every year there's been a financial commitment that's been more important to me so the kitchen is on hold a bit because obviously covid's come um and so many businesses have taken a bit of a knock and i'm a small business as well which feels weird to say because maybe maybe i just feel like a vlogger but i run a little business and um of course that has taken a bit of a knock but i think it will be okay um yeah i've been having a lot of baths um that's it really but i think i'm feeling myself on the mend but I honestly the tooth it feels it sounds so silly to say and so I mean I'm sure I'm sure the haters will hate on that and I shouldn't be moaning about it it's not all me 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 but I'm just sharing with you that that's that's been going on okay um work-wise a oh, little bubble in my throat Work-wise, lots to tell you about. So whilst I haven't been necessarily making videos, I have been doing a lot of other stuff. Um, I have a new website up and running. Um, I'm doing a few little blog posts over there. Um, I'm gonna try and be a bit more regular with it going forward, but I've got a couple to start you off if you're interested. I also have a new newsletter. Why do you have a new newsletter, Louise? Well, guys, guess what? I've not really kept the secret at all, but my new book baby is out August the 6th and it is now available um, to pre-order. And I did have a mock-up book to show you in this video um, and the book is called Mum Life, but because my mum life is so hectic, <laughs> I didn't bring the mock-up book. So I'll be placing a picture of it <laughs> here or at the end of this video. Um, so the book that I have written is wow it has been so much more of a journey than i thought it was going to be i'll tell you a lot more about the process of writing this book because it was a totally different process to uh, any books that i've done before um and initially i thought this will be a nice book about like 
my journey of motherhood so having my lovely mum and then mum dying and then having a really um violent household growing up in that and how that affected things um and then being a young married mum and then a single mum and then a blended family mum um, and I thought oh, all those topics are things that, I've, that I know really well, but I have found out so much through this. First of all, I had to research so much about mum um, and some of our adventures there, but also the, um, the traumatic time of life. I don't know, like the violent, um, abusive um, period of my life was really a lot. To write about and um, I don't know I'm gonna have to get used to talking about this because I know that this will be talked about in interviews and stuff like that but it's really um, you know the phrase when someone says they feel like they've been hit by a truck that's how I felt bringing it all up again so that's all in the book <laughs> is what I'm trying to say um, that's all in the book and that will be a really strange feeling to know that that story that thing that was kept um, secret for so long is now going to be out there but um, I'm really glad that it is because I think that it's a topic that needs to be talked about um, and it's a t taboo topic that I think needs to be um, shared more I think a lot of good will come from that and a lot more awareness for these things and also um, I can provide lots of resources for what you should do if that's happening to you or someone you know or you suspect it's happening. Um, in fact, I'm going to link the NSPCC below as well, just in case this video has like triggered any thoughts about that. Um, oh, that got really deep. I've been doing a style finds feature on Instagram, <laughs> which is a lot less deep than the mum life book that talks about a lot of mum life. Um, so that's good. I'm really trying to push more my thoughts about style and plus size style and feeling good in what you wear since it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately since I've been feeling a bit there. Um, hopefully life will start opening up a bit more soon and we can do series two of the podcast Mother's Meeting. Um, I'm sure we can find a way to do that from home. I've got all the equipment now. They sent me loads of cool equipment so we should get going with that. Um, in the not too distant future. Um, my Facebook video series, thankfully we filmed all of that pre-lockdown, but it's all been edited now. So um, that's called The Big Question and that's on Thursdays at noon on Facebook. Um, what else? Oh, I've just put, I'm really hoping that TV and presenting um, picks up again. Um, I'm writing my column, bit of news on that, Mother and Baby magazine, um, you know, because of COVID and because of the pressures of the new world. Um, there won't be any more magazines for a while, they'll be online. So I won't be writing my column there, but hopefully I'll be writing a column somewhere and I'll let you know about that. Um, and the last thing on my list is I said, um, I want to talk more about money matters because I think it's interesting and it's good to share these things. And when I kind of started my life as an adult, I really had no clue about money. My dad had handled everything when I was growing up and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I've got to like work things out for myself. So I thought I might start sharing more about that. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the rental house. You guys submitted some, um, you all submitted some great questions on Instagram. So I have screenshotted those and I'm going to film a video answering those in as much detail as possible. So that will be coming soon, probably after the tour. Um, but my battery is flashing at me now. So I think I've gambled on at you long enough. Thank you so much for listening and um, leave a, the battery did die. Leave a friendly comment and thank you so much for having me back and sticking by me all these years, 10 years, can't believe it. You're a good bunch, you're good eggs. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to my new book if you would like to pre-order that. Um, yeah, that's it. I feel good to be back. Love you all lots. Flip neck. I just filmed that whole video and saw that I had that white line just there that you get with lipstick sometimes when you've been talking too much because I'd filmed the tour beforehand. I feel really self-conscious about everything at the moment. Do you ever have days like that where you just feel like everything's going a bit, a bit wrong? Sorry about that. I hope you don't mind.